Alrighty guys, um, just having a few updates. I did buy a new MacBook Pro and I'm actually just making this video for just to test everything out. Um, I did get Final Cut for the MacBook Pro and I just want to see how fast it encodes but just a couple updates. I am still giving away the camera so if you guys haven't seen the last video please watch the last video before this one. Um, yeah, still doing the camera giveaway so giving that camera away. Um, I should put the link maybe up here to that old video, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over some darkroom finds and camera accessories that I've bumped into today. Um, this is a laser distance measure by Bosch. Um, I do have a tool obsession as big as my camera obsession. Um, yeah, so this is, you shine, it shines a laser, I don't know if you can see it. And it tells you how far it is. That is, what, 75.75 feet away. Um, so this really helps me out with measuring in meters and feet, especially from outdoors. Um, I notice a lot of people who are used to measuring in feet have trouble measuring in meters. I just multiply whatever I think it is in feet by 3.3, and it is a rough estimate but this really helps out a lot like bam whatever i was pointing at something that was 0.39 meters away so i've been using a laser distance measure a uh, laser distance measure for a while um and here's a timer i got for my dark room it's by oxo it is just a this costs about 20 bucks it is a dark room timer to me um supposed to be using the kitchen but it has three different timers you can use like I'll set the first one for you so you can see uh, let's do six minutes is my normal developing time the second one we'll do 10 minutes for fixing and then the third one I usually do an eight minute wash and then just pick the one you want come on now start that's it so when that one time when that timer goes down you just go to the next one Start it whenever you need to. And then for a wash, start that one as well. And you can do two at the same time if you want. Um, it's just very handy for me. I've been using my cell phone as a stopwatch for a while and I don't like it because it um, the cell phone goes to sleep. I'm not a big fan of that. So this is a nice hardware, like doesn't die or anything. It, doesn't, it also doesn't turn off. It's always on the clock mode. Um, Got a couple of these clips. You guys know I develop 70 millimeter film and 116 film. Um, it's good to have a long clip for hanging film to dry. Uh, uh, this would work well with 120 film as well. Um, yeah, just kind of keeps it from curling up too much. Went to the photo store. PhotoFlow has been like out of stock forever in my area. Nah, picked that up, and it's only. $11 at my camera shop. Yep. And is that it? Also got a little strainer. Um, for some reason, when I put chemicals back into the bottle, uh, this, I usually talk about a fixer. When I, when I put the fixer chemicals back in the bottle, sometimes when I use it again, there's like some kind of sediment or like flaky crap that's in it. So next time I go to use fixer, I'll, put, I'll strain it through here uh, before and after using it just to keep my fixer a little cleaner um and that's it guys once again here's my spool for 116 film i think i showed it showed you guys that in the last video and that is like the perfect clip for that size film and that's it so well this is just a test video for my macbook pro basically and i just wanted to show you like a few updates uh things i buy on a regular basis uh remember camera giveaway and to enter, you have to go to that video. Make sure you're a subscriber. Just comment and be a subscriber to that video. And that's it. That's how you enter. Um, the rules haven't the, the rules hasn't changed for the camera. I think I'm going to do an international giveaway. Uh, I did have a lot of responses. I had to turn off my email alerts on my phone because my uh, Gmail was blowing up my phone all day at work. So. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm starting to get attention for my YouTube channel. Uh, still need to work on my Kickstarter, but since I just bought this MacBook Pro, 
with the quad core and retina screen and all that fun stuff, it should be a lot easier. Seriously, my MacBook from 2007 is rotting. The battery compartment is broken. I risk the battery falling out every time I pick up the laptop. But I got a new laptop today, or a new MacBook Pro, I should say. And yeah, so just had to give you a quick update. So and that's it, guys. Just go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to any of my videos. Keep commenting. Um, I, I check on my comments every day. For the camera giveaway video, though, I haven't been really responding to those because I just want to keep the, uh, the the comment field as short as possible so I can hurry up and tally up all of the users and so I can compare them to the subscribers and all that stuff. So if I keep replying, I'll start seeing the same names and my name over and over and over again. So that's why I've only uh, replied to a couple comments on that video. So that's it, guys. So if you like my work, go ahead, subscribe, comment. I'll be having a lot more videos now So, because I have a new MacBook Pro. I'm so excited. And it's huge. The screen is humongous. I can't believe how amazing that laptop is. I know there's new lap or MacBooks coming out in a couple months, but I needed one now because my MacBook is start is dead. There's no more life in it. I've been using my PS Vita to do all of my online work, which is a great little handheld system, by the way. Um, yeah, so guys, like, subscribe, comment. Be sure to check out the camera giveaway video. And that's it. I feel like I'm talking too much. But have a good night, guys, and happy collecting. I want to see some of your uh, comments on the, on the video. I want to know what kind of film you shoot from, anything. And if you want to know where you can get some of this stuff, just go ahead and comment me. Um, there should be a camera shop in every state, but oh well. So guys, have a great.